I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so. Hey all welcome back In one of my video I talked about cast iron cookware Many of you asked me how I maintain cast iron cookware So in today's video I will show you how I maintain and season my cast iron cookware I brought this new cookware from Indus Valley This one is Indus Valley Pre Season Cast Iron Kadai. Cast iron cookware ensures equal distribution of heat which helps in quick cooking and even adds a delicious to food. I have been using this Indus Valley cast iron cookware for the past 3 years. So my ensures complete purity on the cast iron cookware as they are animal and chemical coating free. This one is 24 cm kadai which is sufficient for family of 4. The ergonomic handles make it easy to lift considering that this cookware is heavy from steel. Next is this cast iron tawa that I have been looking for dosa for long time because the old tawa was very thin and only used to heat up from the center. So the dosa used to stick on tawa and in this wali tawa ensures extra thickness. This is a 24 cm saucepan. are pre season cast iron the sides are elevated which makes it ideal for frying stir frying veggies fried rice chila and paratha check this out if you season your cast iron well and maintain it it will act as a non stick in this valley also gives a lifetime warranty on cast iron cookware you can directly shop from their website using the coupon code to get a additional 12% discount I will thoroughly wash this new cookware with a dishwashing liquid before starting to cook. We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time and I know it so well. I will always be by your side. You and dry the cookware with a cloth. Yeah, you you come around to make a bed. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. I'm a sweet baby. Place it on the gas stove and heat it till the water evaporates. Spread the layer of cooking oil on the entire cookware, top and bottom. Heat the cookware till the smoke is visible. When you bring a new cast iron cookware, it needs to be seasoned properly. Place the cookware on the gas and pour some oil at, at a high smoking point like a coconut oil or sesame oil and add some chopped onion and fry. Once the onion is fried, let it cool for some time and discard it. Just wipe it from the paper towel. It is ready to use. Today's lunch menu is thali pad. Thali pad is one of favorites at home. Making thali pad on iron tawa gives a delicious taste and crunchiness. Now I will add jowar besan and pearl millet flour along with all the ingredients Baby. 
mix everything and make a dough you can also make a tight dough but i like it with a less flour and more vegetable while the dough is resting i will heat up the tawa spread oil on our hands and baking sheets and take the dough and spread all over the sheet place the thali pat on the tawa and cook it with some oil until it turns into golden brown The simplest way to clean the cast iron cookware instantly after cooking is by dusting some dry flour and rubbing it with a steam scrubber. It works better when the tawa or kadai is slightly hot. As the flour helps in removing excess oil that is used for cooking and steel wool removes the dirt stuck on the surface. And just wash after this and clean with a dry cloth. and heat them slightly to remove all the moisture washing cast iron every time after cooking is not needed as it needs a thin layer of oil to remain seasoned and not to catch up the rust i hope this video was helpful and do not forget to check out the description box to know more about indus valley cookware see you soon in my next video bye